Welcome back to Angela's Craft Room, Independent Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia. Um, today I've come to you with a stamp set, Flourish, Flowering Flourishes. Now each month I'm going to just choose one stamp set and I'm going to make three different cards using different techniques with that stamp set. So this month we're going to do Flowering Flourishes. So just to get started, I have a piece of black cardstock which measures eight and a half by five and a half and then I've scored it at four and a quarter. And I'll use my bone folder. Then my first layer on the card I have two, one for inside as well. This one might be a bit, just a little bit bigger. So we're going to put that one straight on to the top of the card. I'm running out of Snell adhesive so I'm just hoping that I can get through this tutorial. So just eyeballing it up using my grid paper as I always do and just flat down like that. Then I'm going to pop what I'm going to do is just stamp that one of the stamps from Flourishing Flourishes stamp set using chocolate chip and I'm just going to stamp it off and just pop it in the corner like that so it just finishes off the card inside so then I'm just going to apply that I put it in the right way and just using my grid paper just eyeballing that grid paper is really good for that because it gives you nice straight takes all the guesswork out so that's the inside of the card ready for my recipient to write in there then from the Pretty Petals Designer Series stack I've cut myself a piece of Designer Series paper which I'm going to glue down so I just want to centre that as much as I can. Just going with the Coral Calypso theme. So I've got Coral Calypso cardstock and then that's Coral Calypso in the designer series paper from the paper stack like that. Then I have pre-cut a oval piece in very vanilla and yes I smudged it but it doesn't matter because that's going to be covered so I'm just taking my calypso coral and a dauber and just very lightly I've just done that before coming on camera I've just gone round and just sponged round the edges so you just go all around the edges very lightly, hardly touching it. So it just gives a little bit of definition on the side. Then we want to stamp the flurry flourishes in chocolate chip. Now the stamp set I'm using from the flowering, flowering Flourishes is the smaller one. So 
So I'm just stamping that up in chocolate chip and I'm going to come in from the top so I've done it a little bit off like that stamp it up again and I'm going to have ribbon that's going to cover some of this so it's quite effective now I'm just going to come in on this edge even though I'm going to have ribbon on there so I'm just going to have it about there lovely so that's even stamped over my mistake so doesn't really matter that I did make a mistake so then we want to add Calypso Coral Ribbon just wondering whether I should sponge a little bit of Calypso Coral Ribbon a little bit of Calypso Coral colour onto that which I think I will I'll just take that off because it won't matter if it covers it so I've just got a sponge which I've cut in quarters now just just want I don't want it to be really heavy just a hint of colour so I'm just going to bring in my sponging just very lightly right down the bottom I'm just have barely any ink on that at the moment but I'm just going to keep going So as there's hardly any ink then you can add a little bit more pressure because I'm not going to re-ink this. I'm really happy with how it's turned out. So that's stamped in chocolate chip and then I've just sponged very lightly with Calypso Coral over the edge. And you can see that I've left a little bit of white space on that side. You could just do the whole lot if you wanted to, it doesn't matter. And I want to add this. It's a bit of a trick because I'm trying to put the bow on to the oval. I'll just zoom out a little bit for you. I'm not the best one at tying on tying bows on on camera, so do it a little bit off camera like that. So if that sits there, then I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back. So that can just hold my ribbon in place because it's all going to be glued down. Just a little bit under there. Just trimming off my ribbon.
sorry about that I just need to grab a little bit of glue dot and I'm just going to grab a bit of glue dot and just pop under where that ribbon's going to sit just don't press it down just it's just to hold it in place and I'm just going to put another one just under there where that one holds in place and just one more sticking to my fingers underneath that side this helps it holds in place there and the ribbons just frayed a little bit so I'll just trim that off so then we have that so then I pre-stamped prior to the video from the flower shop stamp, flower shop stamp set one of those flowers in Calypso Coral and then what I did was I used the Flower Shop Coordinating Punch which is that one there which makes life so much easier what I did was punch that out and then I just added some Wink of Stella which I might just add a little bit more just Wink of Stella I just added on those straight marks there not sure how much that shows up in the video but it really gives a lovely sparkle on those definition marks really defines the flower and you can even put a little bit in the middle if you want to I might put a pearl in the middle I'm not sure yet and then I also just sponge the edges once again with Calypso Coral going round all the little edges of the flower and what I'm going to do is I'm going to that's popped up pop that about there so just going to get a couple of dimensionals Actually, almost just cut because it's not quite wide enough to take two whole dimensionals. So just waste not, want not. So then, let's do up my wink of Stella. just want to pop that about there and then I did use my bone folder just to curl up the edges of the flower as well so it's like that so far I just love the Calypso coral colour, it's beautiful. Then I think I'm just going to put a metal rim brad, oh sorry, a metal rim pearl right in the middle and press down. So we've got that. And then just for a sentiment. I'm just stamping up from an open heart stamp set. Just make sure that I've got my stamp on straight. Then I'm just going to stamp that about there. Like that. 
just looks lovely. And then I just put a little bit of Lipso Coral. to define the color a little bit. I'm really happy with that how that's turning out. Okay and then we're just going to bring our card back in and I'm just going to you could put that up on dimensionals if you wanted to but I'm just going to glue it down. I just hope I've got enough snail to last. You can always go for the tear and tape if you have to. Let's do it the way around the circle, close to the edge. Now, I am going to put a little bit of tear and tape across there because we've got a ribbon and I don't want that coming undone Let's cut that off get out of your way now let's see if it's going to be kind to me and let me pick it up here we go, wonderful now make sure it's round the right way and as I say, if you wanted to, you could actually sit this up with dimensionals, but I've chose not to this time. Just see that I've got. so good when you've got the ribbon and the card stock and the flower, the inks, they're all corresponding colours. It just makes it so easy to make a lovely card for someone. So there's our finished card and that's using the flowering, the flowering flourishes stamp set which is the one that I'm making three cards this month for you with that and I'll show you the other cards so that's the one that we've just done now with this one what I did with this one was I had Knight of Navy base as my card then I sponged a piece of shimmery white card stock with cherry cobbler just very lightly with your sponges and then I stamped the flowering flourishes over that with Knight of Navy and because I wanted it to be like a background stamp that's what I was aiming for and then I just added some little jewel rhinestones in between in the center of each flower and then I just used Knight of Navy punched out the Knight of Navy with the oval punch and then the little scallop punch I stamped the sediment for you on that and then I sat that up on dimensionals and then the other one I did I had a basic black base card which was the normal eight and a half by five and a half scored it four and a quarter and then I used the Blackberry Bliss cardstock and I embossed that with the decorative dots embossing folder then I just used a little bit of gold trim and then what I did was I used a combination of colors which I'll just grab for you So what I, I, this was a piece of shimmery white card.
cardstock and I've just used Sahara sand, always artichoke and elegant eggplant just sponging it all with a sponge and then I stamped the flourishing, flourishing flourishes stamp onto the sponged area I just did one from up here and one from down here and then I just used the pearls and the rhinestones just to decorate that and then I just used the scallop punch and then I just put my sentiment on there which was from the Grateful Bunch you are totally awesome so they're the three cards I've done using one stamp set because I think it's important sometimes that we buy stamp sets and we use them once or twice and then we don't know we need some guidance to where to go from there so I thought each month I will pick one stamp set and I will do three cards for you from that one stamp set so those two sorry those two were using the sponging technique and then I used made a background like a background stamp with the flourishing flourishes and then just did a little sentiment and a few jewels this one I did the underneath embossed cardstock then a little sponged panel with three colors and then stamped the flourishing flourishes on top just one from the bottom and one from the top and then just adhered some pearls and jewels on there and then the one that we just finished today on camera using the beautiful Calypso coral colors the flowers from the flower shop stamp set other than that we've used used stamping in chocolate chip we've done the flourishing flourishes stamped on there like we did if you remember we went from the top then we did one under there and a little bit under there because it doesn't matter if it's covered afterwards so I hope that gives you some inspiration and if you've got any questions or you would like me to do a tutorial on anything at all just please leave it in the comments below I do appreciate your time and I thank you for watching this tutorial today.